Are you ready to go camping? Nope. All right. <laughs> Are you ready to go camping and backpacking? Are you ready to go backpacking? <laughs> Attack of the dog. <laughs> We're gonna go. How's it feel? Heavy. Alright, we'll just eat our way through. You carry this one. Okay, Hollywood and Kazoo back on trail. We are, where are we? Cottonwood Pass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, where are we going? Rocky Basin. Lakes. Rocky Basin Lakes. Um, kind of unknown mileage on this one. We'll just kind of get there and just go joop, 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 joop. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. We have one more additional partner. Come on. Here he is. We're just gonna follow him wherever he goes. <laughs> Tough. Let's do it. Where are we camping tonight, Otis? Nicely done. Frog soup. Hey. You know, like so often, the, the through hike mentality, miles, miles, go, go, go. miles. No, this is home. I live here. Well, night one, we've traversed like a mile. It was tough, tough mile. Just couldn't go any farther, you know what I mean? I know what you mean.
The first morning pack up always seems a little <laughs> strenuous and tedious. Somehow walking in like feet of snow in uh, short sleeves and shorts. <laughs> All right, there is currently minimal to no trail available because of all the snow. So we have decided to go straight up the mountain because, you know, you got to get there anyway. How do you feel about this, uh, this trail we're on? Oh, there's no trail, but it's perfect. <laughs> How do you feel about this trail we're on, buddy? Hmm. Wise words. Cottonwood Pass. This is incredible. <laughs> Nuts. Incredible. Okay. Finally made it to Cottonwood Pass. That was uh, some gnarly bouldering. You know, it's those moments where you're like, hmm, no one will hear my cries. <laughs> uh, but we did it. Kazoo led the way. Excellent job, Kazoo. Thank you. Followed by Otis. And I was way in the caboose. Oh, what a lovely caboose. Goodness. What a lovely caboose. Doesn't have to look pretty as long as you get there. And uh, rewarded with this freaking marvel of nature. And not a soul in sight! Cottonwood Pass Trail is all the way down there. We decided to take a little detour and head on up to a bit of a summit up here and get to our, there's our rock. Just cause, just cause why not? Always take the blue blaze up to the view. On a scale of one to 10, how dangerous do you think it would be just to slide down? Gotta say, the first day here is no joke. This is pretty difficult. Up through Cottonwood Pass, there was a lot of snow and very little trail. So it's kind of make your own adventure. And sometimes the adventure <laughs> what? is sometimes the adventure is sticky. Sticky. <laughs> What's brown and sticky? Poop. And a stick. <laughs> Otis is finally tired. He didn't want to let us see him tired before, but he just couldn't help himself. Yeah. Enjoy the break time. When a spot is calling to you, forget your plans and just take it. Follow the positive vibes, right? Oh, this place has that. You feel it, right? Sometimes you just like, you feel, you feel the vibes, you feel it, it's calling you. We started a tradition on the Appalachian Trail called Hundreds, where each night when we get to camp, we do 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups. Why do we do this? Uh... <laughs> this is the additional challenge. Now, crunches, sit-ups, twirlies, whatever you gotta do. Whatever that is.
special. A little bit of the sacrament. So cool. Okay, starting day number three. Another beautiful, gorgeous, sunshiny, cloudless California day. And uh, Otis is ready. So here we go. Otis, hi bud. King of the world, look at you. Pride Rock over there. Macro lens time. I'm gonna put an insert of the picture you take right in this uh, little film That's here. It's a good one. It's a good one. With little pine needles with the rushing water in the background. All right, and here it is. And there it was. Did you like that? Uphill, uphill, uphill. The fact that there's so much snow. Dude, it's, whoa. And there I go. Damn it. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we put this down for a second. That's what I get for trying to film and hike at the same time. What I'm saying was the fact that there's so much snow <laughs> means that this place was covered in snow like feet and feet and feet because it's like 60 degrees right now and it's still everywhere all right let me put it away kazoo remembers rock sylvania look at him go wow okay time to look down and concentrate our biggest patch of snow yet. Oof. We have reached Rocky Basin Lake and it has ice all over it. That's the shot. Holy cow. Listen to this. That's incredible. Hey, buddy. Yeah. 
What you doing? Just playing. Feeling a little horny. <laughs> nice and clean. Because <laughs> it's your dog. Hey, we're gonna be in hell by the lake and we're gonna boil horns and I'm gonna eat some tuna on a tortilla, tortilla. Gonna grip my pants and gonna put some candies on there and make them whole again. Oh, he's gonna sit by me and I go, hey buddy, hey buddy. Lost their minds. <laughs> What's on your mind, Kazoo? <laughs> For the record, I just asked Hollywood before he started recording. What's on anyone? No, I, I gotta answer the question. I don't know. It was a really good day. It was not a lot of miles, but absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this. This is where we live. I think that's the. The, the mantra of this trip. What's that? This is where we live. This is where we live. I don't have to do anything. But I get to do this. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I'm having fun doing it. It's a good looking fire set up. Thank you. It's a shame you're going to have to burn it. They like not seeing people. You're all right. Other people. It's kind of like, wh why doesn't everybody come here? But then if they all came here, it would suck. <laughs> so, you know, this is going to be a lovely evening with our pad thai and our fettuccine alfredo. Sleeping on, hopefully not too much of a slant. I'm thinking like 8.30 is my favorite time out here. Yeah. You'll see. Ready? 8.30. Hold on. 8.30. 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the fire reflecting off your teeth. Go down. Okay, start of another day. And, Kazoo, what kind of day is it? What kind of day is it? It's a cloudless day. A beautiful, cloudless, California. sunshiny California day. Hey, look at that sky. You didn't see any clouds. Nope, no clouds. All right. Good day to backpack. Ready, buddy? Take that as a yes. Here we go, across the frozen tundra in 62 degree weather. This has some definite World War II vibes. We go from having virtually no trail at all to blazes and cairns and horses and rivers on rivers on rivers. Kadoo, kadoo. Kazoo thought about aqua blazing. I think he might be on to something. Isn't that right, Kazoo? That's right, Hollywood. We got the snow. We've got these beautiful rocks. Amazing pine trees. We've got a river. We've got this lovely little path. We just get to traverse one step at a time. I mean, this is unbelievable. And it can all be yours for three <laughs> payments of $19.99. Three easy payments and one very <laughs> difficult payment. This is, by the way, we deem this the Hawk Trail. The Hawk Trail, the Hollywood Otis Kazoo Trail. So, uh, now you know that. Because <laughs> it didn't have a name. 386, what is it called? 30, 30, 36, I think there was a six in there. But now it's the Hawk Trail. So I hope you enjoy this Hawk Trail. It's an offshoot of the just before the siberian pass trail we're going to meet up with that in a bit so once you come from rocky basin lakes 
before you get to the Siberian Trail, take the Hawk Trail offshoot and uh, for three easy payments, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it. Well, he seemed to have lost Kazoo. He didn't want to get his feet wet, so he was looking for a place to cross the river downstream. And, uh, well, we misplaced each other. I think I'll go a little bit farther to see maybe if he crossed downstream and is waiting for us. And then I'll stop and wait for him. And then we'll both just be waiting for each other. Okay, here we go. There he is. A pilgrim through the forest. Did you keep your shoes dry? I don't think he did. So here we have a body of water that's not on a map. And we have to cross it. This is probably the most likely crossing. But we're a little nervous for this way. this beautiful campsite right by a nice stream flat ground everything looks real nice and all of a sudden wasteland look at this crap freaking filth you got moonshine liquor bottles from like the 20s and then like a milk mason jar from last year. Look at this. Nature, humans. Nature, humans. We're doing pretty good. King of the castle, king of the castle. Where there's a seat in a rock, you take it. Your rock? It rocks. Tell us about today. The adventures we took today. Sunday, July 2nd. We woke up at a beautiful, serene lake and effectively the snow. It was peaceful. We slept mostly, not on a slant, under beautiful trees. It was a really special place. I gotta get more comfortable. This is gonna be long. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to cut this. Okay, cut and. You're gonna have to cut this. Action. We walked across the tundra full of spires of snow. We braved the descent through the pine forest, going through marsh and down waterfalls and into the most serene, most beautiful meadow. Waters flowing through. There's water everywhere. There's snow everywhere. We continue to make our way down, down, down. We crossed this wide marsh to get to the next snowy mountain. So we get down to this wonderful patch and we're going and we just start hitting miles. Like we really felt like we were on the AT. There was just this euphoric sense of being at one with nature, with your steps, with your body with the thoughts, with... Hiker trance. Hiker trance, absolutely. Very long and very hot. Very long, like this clip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, five minutes. Yeah. It's been see. five minutes? Yes. Wow. I could go on and on. I, was, I felt like I was cutting it things short. Not a bad sight to fall asleep to. All righty, another 
nice, beautiful California day. However, some bad news. There are clouds in the sky. Can you believe that? Well, regardless, we're gonna make the best of it and have an awesome day. Yeah, this is a good start. Not shabby, not too shabby. This is new landscape. Race cars. When do we want it? Meow. <laughs> oh, we're trying not to laugh, right? That's the point. Okay. What do you get when you rub two oranges together? What? Pulp friction. Yeah. Great. Do trees poop? Where do you think number two pencils come from? <laughs> <clears throat> what does it say on Moses' wife's apron? <laughs> <laughs> What? The hostess with the Moses. <laughs> I like the first part better. <laughs> the setup was fun. My girlfriend dumped me. So I stole her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my girlfriend dumped me so I stole her wheelchair. <laughs> Guess who came crawling back? <laughs> oh my god, who wrote these? <laughs> oh. uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for that one. We're still very bad at this. It's a great game. Well, at least there's a nice view. Alaska to the left, Wyoming to the right. Venice Beach in front of us. All right. Fortunately and unfortunately, back to the parking lot. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> All right, we did it. Otis has one more squirrel to chase. <laughs> Kazoo. <laughs> Bump poles. Yay. That was a great trip. Treacherous at points. Harrowing at points. Magical. At Magical all at all times. Oh, goodness. You were going to. He was revoked for here. All right. Well, until our next adventure, this is Hollywood and Kazoo. Signing off. See you down trail. And if you can't carry it in your pack or in your soul, you don't need it. <laughs> Just All right. PCTers! <laughs> this is what it looks like. All, all I see is the pack, sorry. <laughs> That's 